Last month, I spoke with the city's sustainability coordinator, Allison Higgins, about Water Quality Awareness Month. While well, March is actually designated as Transportation Month, the city has partnered with the Department of Health to promote the healthiest form of transportation, which of course is walking. We're going to talk more about it this morning with the sustainability intern, Stuart Johnson. Stuart, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, what all is the city doing to promote Transportation Month? Well, we have three big events as March is Transportation Month. And the first one, like you mentioned, we partnered with the Department of Health and what's walking with the commissioners. So we have four commissioners on board to lead community walks through their districts. And as they walk with the people, they're going to point out parts of their areas, you know, things that are going on people might not have realized or read about in the paper yet. And the first one has actually already started. It took place Saturday at White Street Pier with Commissioner Johnston. Mm -hmm. But we want anyone to know they can come to any one of these walks. You don't have to be a part of the district to walk with that commissioner. So the next one, you can meet us Friday at 6 in front of the Eco Discovery Center where Commissioner Weekly will be leading a two-mile walk around the Truman waterfront and talking about what's going on with that project out there. And then we also have our third walk with Commissioner Lopez, and he's going to meet his walkers on Thursday the 21st at 5.30 at the Harvey Government Center. And he's going to be touring the cemetery and the recently opened Old Firehouse Museum. And then Commissioner Yanez is going to be finishing out transportation walking with a three-mile walk around Little Hamaca Park, and he'll be doing that on the 28th at 5.30. And he'll be showing his walkers the salt ponds and the Pigeon Park. Okay, so just kind of showing all the people things that we wouldn't normally maybe know about whether it's the projects or maybe it's different areas that we aren't familiar yeah, with. Yeah, right. You know, if like. you don't normally mm -hmm. uh, keep up with the, the different areas, you know, it's a good good opportunity to you know, get out, take your dog. We had a dog come to the one on mm -hmm. Saturday, you know. Um, so it's, it's a good opportunity to come out and talk with your commissioner and even just your neighbors and walk. Okay. And now this is all part of Preserve Island Life. Mm -hmm. Stuart, tell our viewers what Preserve Island Life is all about. Well, it's the City Sustainability Campaign. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's an initiative to take a step to, um, you know, green and environmental awareness. But instead of just going green, I feel like that's a little overused. And so to really get people on board and to bring it close to them, Preserve Island Life, you know, mm -hmm. what Key West is about. A lot of it is environmental. We're you know, located in an area where we have to pay attention a little closer. So we have spread it out over a year, so the 12 months, and each month has a different sustainability platform. You know, and last month was water quality, and this month is transportation. So you know, a greener way that you can do transportation. So we had the walking event planned. What is next month going to be? Um, water conservation. So we're going to okay. partner up with you know different people in the area that all have good ideas about water conservation. Now, is this the first year that you guys have done Preserve Island Life? Mm -hmm. And we're going to kick it off with a big press release coming soon. Okay. And do you think this is something that you'll continue doing each year? I think they definitely should. I think mm -hmm. it's a great way to you know reintroduce things that maybe have been a little worn out with other platforms. Now you'll have 12 topics obviously for this year. Do you think it will be hard to come up with another set of 12 ideas for next it's, year? Or? It'll be the same. So mm -hmm. from now okay. on, March will always be designated Transportation Month. It makes okay. it easy to keep up with it if there's something you're really interested in. If you're a fisherman and you really want to be a fisherman part of water quality, then you would know February would be your time to step up. And maybe if you're a big biker and you want to promote that, you would know that March is transportation and that would be when you would really get involved. Okay, so besides just joining the walks, how else can the community really get involved in Transportation Month? Well, on March 23rd, we mm -hmm. have, we're going to participate in the Earth Hour bike ride. Mm -hmm. And so Earth Hour is actually a national campaign promoted by the World Wildlife Fund. And it's an energy, a renewable energy awareness campaign. Mm -hmm. So to shed light on, <laughs> joke, to <laughs> shed light on the need to pay attention to renewable energy, they're asking everyone to cut off all your lights during the hour of 8.30 and 9.30. Okay. And the city has participated in the past, you know, we promoted candlelit dinners to get you out. But this year, instead of having you sit at home in the dark, mm -hmm. we've actually organized a bike ride so we can tie it into Transportation Month. So we're asking everybody to join us at 8 at the Indigenous Park parking lot. And mm -hmm. we're going to start a bike ride down South Roosevelt. And the first riders that get there will get a new safety blinking light. Sounds like a great idea mm -hmm. to do this. Okay. Well, Stuart, thank you for being on this morning. And, of course, they can check out the city's website for more information on any of this. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me today. I hope that you can join me back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.
It'll be okay.